Welcome to this video where I'm just going to be quickly explaining how to install R and R Studio. So if you don't know, R can be used for data science and in particular statistical analysis, which is the main reason I use it. And R Studio is a type of graphical user interface that enhances the base version of R. So to start off with, you need to download the base version of R. And to do that, you can just type in r-project.org and takes you to the home page of R, the project, the R project for statistical computing. And it tells you that R is a free software environment for statistical computing and graphics. So most of my previous videos have been on SPSS. I'm going to start doing more R videos just because firstly it's free and anything that SPSS can do, R can do better. So to start off with, you're going to click on download R, choose a server. They all pretty much the same. It's not very big, so speed doesn't matter too much, but I'm going to choose Korea just because why not? I wonder if that's the South or the North, United Korea. What a wonderful thought. Anyway, so once you at the page, you can choose whether to download R for Linux mac os or windows because i'm using windows i'm just going to download it for windows but i've already actually downloaded it so i'm not going to download it again but you will click on it you go to the subdirectories go to base because as it says here this the base is what you would want to install r for the first time which i assume would be the case for most people watching this video so click on install r for the first time download r 3.6.2 or whatever it may be in the future and save the file right so while that's downloading the next thing that you need to download is r studio so to get r studio you just need to type in rstudio.com pretty straightforward no line no dash so once you get to this r studio page so there are options to buy R Studio. There's a pro version which offers support, and if you're some type of enterprise and commercialized organization, then you might need to buy it. But for the vast majority of R users, I imagine we would just use the open source free version of R Studio. Let's do that to go to products, open source R Studio. There are two versions of R Studio: ones for the desktop, ones for the server. Again, most people would use the desktop version, which is just the graphical user interface for base R. You can choose to download the open source edition unless you really want that support and want to pay a $1,000 a year for it. So again, go down here, download our studio. If you're using Windows, download the EXE. If you're using Mac, download the .dmg. If you're using any type of Linux or Unix, then you would just get the appropriate file for whatever version you're using. For me, it would be the Windows version, which supports 10, 8, and 7. Alas, no vista. And then you would just download it by clicking on the exe. A little box will pop up, and then you save file. Right, so, assuming we have both of these things downloaded now, we first need to install our base. So you would click on the download.exe, run it, you accept that you want to install it, choose your language, read the TNCs, of course, choose where you want to install it to. Now, if you're not quite sure whether you're running a 32-bit or 64-bit system, just install both of them. You do need the core files and then you might want message translations if you need it. So click next. Do you want to customize the startup options? Up to you. Defaults no. You want to create it. Click oh after clicking next, you can see whether you want to create a desktop shortcut and the different whether you want to associate R with R data files. It's a pretty good idea to just leave it as default there. And then click next. And then it'll start to install. Right, so once that's installed, then you would go to you would open your R Studio EXE. 
Again, you want to click next. So you want to choose where you want to install it. Click next. Unless you want to change the startup menu folder name, you can change it and then install. So it's important to remember that you can't install R Studio without having R Base first. So it will tell you that it can't find R and you need to download it. So first, let's have a look at what R Base looks like by itself. So you find my icons, there they are, let me move them over. I do love some icons. And then for RI386 is for people running a 32 bit system, and the R64 bit is for people running a 64 bit system. Because I'm running a 64 bit system, I'm just going to use it. But if you're not sure, try run the 64 bit version, and if it doesn't work, then you know you're most likely on a 32 bit system. Right, so. Launching R, this is it. It's a completely code based platform. You can't, there's no real buttons that you can uh, click on, no graphical interface essentially. And you're required to type and code for everything that you want to do in it. For instance, R comes with some bolts and data sets to use examples. And for instance, let's say we want to plot. A graph so we type plot open brackets cars which is a little data set that comes included and then this will pop up right just a basic little scatter plot if we wanted to view um, a summary of the data we can go head mt cars i think that's what it's called and it'll show you the first 10 rows of data variable names and so on this is what R looks like by itself. Now we want to see what R Studio looks like. We'll just search for it. And as you can see, it is quite a bit different. So on the top right hand side, we have our script or notebooks. So if you want to create a new one, essentially we go file, new, and notebook or script, and I'll mark down whichever one you want to install. I like to use notebooks and at the bottom here we have our console the same thing which is essentially the base R this is the same thing as that I have a bunch of red errors because I just reinstalled it over my old version and it doesn't know what's going on but nothing to worry about so in the top right hand corner we have our global environment which shows all the data sets and tables that we've been working with over time. Also shows you the history of the R console. And in the bottom right we have um, firstly your files which is your R directory. If you wanted to load a data set here you could, you could do that. Plots, so again instead of having a plot just pop up in the base R it would have a nice little spot right in this little tab here. So you could type plot, cars, highlight it and control enter. Or you could just click run here. And you'll see the, the plot has a nice little home away from everything else that you're doing. Likewise, if you want to head empty cars, Will come up in the console and leaves your notebook or your script nice and clean so you can you know exactly what you've typed and it's not lost in the masses of information so if you wanted to view different packages that you could install a package being a certain function or a set of functions that somebody has coded and uploaded into the r repository which are generally freely available again one of the benefits of and versatilities of r over spss Firstly, you can search for what you want to install, such as um, the Levon package, and install it, as opposed to having to type this all out in the base R. And then here you can see in the user library, Levon should pop up, and then you can just click on it, and then it will be activated. Otherwise, you'd have to type library Levon. That's the same thing, but it's just ease of access and makes life a little bit easier 
You can also import new data sets as opposed to having to type in the directory and location of it. And you can also, as part from having packages, you can also go to help. So for instance, if I don't know the function of head, I can tell, type help and head. That should detail what this function does and how I can go about using it. So overall, R Studio adds a lot to base R, which by itself is really powerful, to one super software package. So that's R and R Studio. That's it for um, this video. I hope you were able to install your R and R Studio. If the video was useful, drop a like. If you want to see more videos going over R statistics, subscribe to the channel.